Tuesday, October 30th, and I'm about to go hunting. In case anybody's wondering if I lost my mind or not, here is Boshenka, our baby goat. And yes, I'm going to try and get into goats, raise some goats, and use them as pack animals. Will it work? I have no idea. But I'm hooked. And this little guy was sick, so we actually had her in my house in the laundry room. How nutty is that? So here's her little kennel. Here she is on our deck underneath an awning. Fenced around the barn to keep her in a pen for the winter. And then I'll fence that pasture for her for the summer. And here's her older sister, Daisy, who does not behave very well. And that was her outdoor area until she got sick. So we are building her the Taj Mahal. I know nothing about goats. This has been going on for about three or four weeks. Wish me luck. Yes, one day I hope to pack with them. Never get tired of this drive. On uh, Route 2, the High Line, just went through Glacier Park. And this is the Continental Divide we're crossing. And beautiful, beautiful drive for my hunt. Okay, so I just drove through Chester, and I'm meeting my friend Chad Hedges, but it's uh, 1, 146, and he can't get off work till 3.30. So, I'm getting a little bit cocky. I'm gonna go about 20 miles out to the town of Guildford, where I've done pretty well in the past on some uh, um, public land with does. I have extra tags, they call them B-tags here, not doe tags. I have B-tags for both whitetail and mule deer in this area. So I'm talk about getting cocky. I'm gonna see if I can get out there, shoot a doe, gut it, get it back in the truck, and be back here in less than two hours. A uh, long shot. And then we start our elk and uh, hunting for an elk and a, a buck deer. So let's see if I can go fill a doe tag in <laughs> an hour and 45 minutes. Okay, entered the town of Guildford. Going to head south a bit to some state property. Um, never saw any monster deer there, but always pretty good for does. And I see a mix um, of whitetail and uh, mule deer in the area here. Does for both. So, <laughs> it's uh, 10 after 2 now, and I have until 3 o'clock to hunt. That includes, if I get something, getting it gutted and in the truck from wherever it is before I meet Chad to start scouting for elk tonight to try and hunt tomorrow. So let's see what I can make happen. And of course, like always, scenery is gorgeous. So if you can see the mountains out there, it's too far. Beautiful. So let's see if I can do it. Set a land speed record on getting a couple of does. So I'm about to pull through the cattle guard and these are the coolies and depressions I'm gonna hunt. I don't know, I'll probably only get uh, the south end, probably only be able to do this section here today. And then I'll come back to a uh, other section uh, next week. I'll come back out to hunt elk with Chad again if we don't connect this week. I'll go hit the other side of this uh, parcel, try to get a doe over there, see what we can do. Well, this was always a real productive place for does for me. I did shoot a nice archery buck here a few years ago um, from this cliff, and so nothing today. No does today. Uh, usually they hide along these cliffs to try and get out of the wind, but it's a week and a half into hunting season. Somebody else might have kicked them up. So... That's it, let's get back to Chad and see if we can find some elk for tomorrow. So this is where we'll hunt tomorrow. And just trying to find some elk right now. Get him, Chad. Just glass and looking for some elk for tomorrow.